Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeff Both Central. So, I haven't uh, posted anything a little bit longer than I normally do. It's been about nine days since I posted anything. Which again, is kind of a lot for me. Uh, I've been having kind of a rough-ish time. I mean, it's not like the worst times I've ever had. It's not the best times I've ever had. You know how it is. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of depressed thinking and a lot of just shitty thinking and uh because I'm because I'm schizoaffective uh hearing and believing things about the world and about myself that that just aren't true okay so that's all internal junk <laughs> that's all internal factors for why I'm not haven't been feeling I mean I'm feeling a little bit better today which is probably why I'm able to do this but then there's also external things and that's kind of that's kind of a separate issue and that's and that's you know that's a real thing too because there are global events that could be depressing me at the moment there certainly are there are interpersonal things that could be depressing me at the moment there certainly are long way of saying I've screwed up some relationships with my behavior and my words um and you know that's also to my mind, got a lot to do with the schizoaffective disorder because, man, it's just, it's tough to catch a break because you know who you are on a good day. You know who you'd like to be. And I think other people can see that in you too. Uh, but Lord knows when you have a serious psychiatric illness or even just if you have a psychiatric illness, you're not always at your best. And that's, you know, that's a reality. Uh, so yeah, like I was telling my wife earlier that I met her in 2005 and God's honest truth, the last 10 years, I don't think I've had a single lasting friendship. I think that everything has crumbled. And I try to avoid catastrophizing language, absolute language like that. Everything crumbled. Nobody likes me. I try to. It's difficult. I think the human mind likes to do that. The human mind is a tricky thing. You know, we look around at, at, at our, our uh, four-legged furry friends, right? And they don't seem to be burdened animals. I hope you know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about other people. <laughs> uh animals um don't seem to be burdened by the excessive thinking the excessive self-image the excessive where do i fit in in this whole thing and who am i and what's you know what's that person got against me and oh god i, I don't look my best today all that crap that we have to deal with seem to be uh relatively unburdened by that sort of thing so that's definitely uh that's definitely a burden for the human being and once again, if you have a, a mental illness, a psychiatric illness, especially schizoaffective, schizophrenia, but it, again, it pertains to just about all of us with, with something a little extra that we got to deal with. Uh, your thoughts are not your friend most of the time, most of the time, most of the time. Uh, I only say it so forcefully because I notice a lot of people aren't able to um, articulate that. They Most people seem to believe, uh, and I don't think this is a weird thing to say because I don't believe it, but most people tend to believe that their minds are their friends, that their minds are a good thing. After all, it, my mind helps me do things. I can get around. I can communicate with people. I can go, I can go to work. I can earn a living at work. I can... Uh, go to the grocery store after work and I can buy things for my family. I can feed them. I can do calculus. I can do, I can build airplanes. I can get to the moon. You know, we can do these things with the human mind, but it's not our friend. Most of the time I declare that, especially since my, I mean, literally I'm not like my, literally my mind is my enemy, right? The thing, the thing that's chattering at me and telling me what a piece of shit I am all the time. <sighs> not my friend not my friend um but it's part of you uh those voices aren't going anywhere anytime soon oh look there's a cat 
those voices aren't going anywhere anytime soon. So how to deal, how to deal with the not going anywhere anytime soon fiasco um, that is our mind. And I guess, I guess most people would have reason to say, well, my mind really is not that bad. And I can't say that it is because I can't be in there with you. This cat looks like it's going to eat me. Maybe not. I think that it's okay to acknowledge it. And I think that furthermore, it's okay to try to practice um, detachment uh, from your thoughts. Now, as far as I know, and I've investigated a lot of different methods, including philo philosophical, religious, psychological, as far as I know, you can never actually get rid of the thoughts. Not necessarily, because they, they really... They are a subconscious event. Uh, unless you're unless you're consciously directing your thoughts, um, they are a uh, they are a subconscious event. So, I think that what you can do though is recognize that that look, it's a phantom, man. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. It's a geist. The German word geist. Uh, it's, it's like, it's like this, it's whole, this whole experience. And after all, we can only experience the world through our brains, through our minds, right? And the mental framework from which we attack life, from which we combat life, from which we, uh, uh, struggle and strive and achieve and lose, it's fog. It's a complete mental fog. And yes, it's helpful sometimes, but look, when you're sitting up in the morning at three o'clock because you're fretting over the next day at work, uh, and then you go to work and everything's fine the next day, or maybe it's not, but it's never how you think it's going to be, is it? Your mind makes you think some things, uh, so many things like it, it's just, it's, it's, it's a total con job, dude. <laughs> Most intellectual thing I've had to say all day. I think that, reasonably speaking, you're never really going to be able to combat your mental illness. Me too. We're never going to be able to combat our mental illnesses until we learn to recognize that the mind ain't doing us any favors and that so much of it is just noise and that we can actually take a step back and ask ourselves, okay... Just like I was saying, just like I was saying, every relationship has fallen apart. Is that true? Like, if I actually analyze that statement, would it be true? Probably not. If I probably thought about it, one or two people probably were fine with me, and we are still fine, right? Theoretically. It's so hard to describe, to penetrate the other side of it, but I think you know what I'm saying. Like... Just take some time. If, if you've been suffering recently, like I have been, I've been trying to take some time and really challenge the thinking. That's all I'm saying. Challenge the thinking. Challenge the thinking. Because you can't do anything about them and how they react to you. But you can decide, maybe sometimes after the fact, maybe you don't have any control while the thinking attack is happening to you. But take a little time afterward and say, was any of that really true? And that might be the hardest thing in the world today, but it might be the easiest thing in the world. In the sense that if you just do it once, you might find that it takes hold and you start craving that little space. Just that little hit of freedom, man. Like, imagine the clouds parting and everything is just... Oh... Not everything is so bad up here. Not everything is so black and white. Not everybody hates me. I don't hate myself. There's nothing to hate. Stand up to it. I mean, I don't like work with it. Don't just, don't just like freakishly attack yourself because you think 
everything bad about mind, but you get what I'm saying. Like if it's giving you shit, just take a second, step away, do what you got to do to like break the spell. Even if it's a physical thing, you know, like you can, you can, um, do a little bit of, of, uh, a sense engagement, how I'm feeling, what I'm touching. You can, you can even put something cold on the back of your neck. You know, I've done that. Break it for a moment. Challenge it. Is this really true? Is this really the case? And, and feel for a second, like there's no, cause once you challenge it, it quiets for a second. And maybe if you can make that space last, you might find that there's, there's nothing to fear. There's nowhere to go. There's nothing to be, there's nothing to be angry about. There's nothing to be scared of. I mean, <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, phantom to phantom, unless there's like a tiger or a bear knocking down your door, whatever. Right. Or someone's got a gun in your face. Nothing to be afraid of. Nothing to be ashamed of. And yeah, you got to come back down into life. Um, but at least when you're suffering, you might stand a chance of letting that ab abate for just a little while. Because I can't... I cannot control the things that my mind throws at me. But I can control how I feel about it especially after the fact. And I can challenge the validity of it. And that's so important if you're schizophrenic, okay? From everything I've learned about this illness, even if it's other people helping you challenge it, because you won't be aware in the middle of it that it's, that it's not right. Learn to challenge it. Learn to say, I reject that. I reject that idea. I reject that notion. I reject everything about it. I don't know. That's what I got. That's what I got this week. That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm trying because I've had a hard week. So... But good news, I'm playing uh, Harry Potter. I'm playing the new Hogwarts Legacy game, and I'll have a review for that. <laughs> Total 180 for you, but that's this channel. Nothing really congruent, just, just what I feel like putting up. So uh, that's all, everybody. That's all I wanted to say. I hope you are all doing very well. I hope otherwise. I hope, um, I hope there are better days in the future if you're not. And there are. Trust me, there are. There always are. Um, peace and love and, um, vanilla ice cream. Hey everybody, do me a favor. This is my latest, uh, novel. This is Resurrection Mixtape. It's got tons of music and tons of, uh, horrific elements and it's really, really, really funny. Uh, I spent a lot of time working on this. This was the book I wrote, uh, during COVID times, so... I had a lot, of <laughs> a lot of focus. It was this and watching Star Wars marathons on uh, on uh, Disney Plus. So <laughs> please do check it out. It's on Amazon. Any any territory you want. Oh boy. Whew.